Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to implement one-to-many mapping, by at the rate one-to-many annotation, in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on persistence.xml, in this tutorial we can skip explaining the persistence.xml. Only property to mention is hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's see what is one to many mapping in database model. One college can have many students. College to student is a one to many relationship. Student to college is a many to one relationship. College table has a primary key as, college ID. In order to make one to many mapping between college and student. The college ID has to be foreign key in table student, as shown in figure. Moving ahead. How is this relationship represented in the entities? College entity has a reference to list of students, as college can have many students. And. Student entity has a reference to college. Annotation used to demonstrate this is, at the rate one to many and vice versa. In coming slides we will look into this more and discuss how all is done. Moving ahead. Let's create an entities by name college and student. In order to know more about entities, please watch my previous videos on JPA. Let's move ahead and discuss, how can we map college and student as one to many. College entity has a reference to list of students, as college can have many students. And. Student entity has a reference to college. Moving ahead. In order to make college to student as one to many, we have to put at the rate one to many annotation over list of students property in college entity. In college entity, at the rate one to many annotation signifies that one college has many students. Moving ahead. At the student side, at the rate many to one annotation has to be put over college reference. In student entity, at the rate many to one annotation signifies that many student belong to one college. Since, college ID has to be made foreign key in student table. We have to follow two things. Number one. Put at the rate join column annotation over college property in, in student entity, and provide name of the column, which will hold college ID value in student table as foreign key. Number two. Provide map by value as college for at the rate one to many annotation, which we have placed on list of students property in college entity. The map by value here is college, this name has to match with the instance variable name college in address entity. The line drawn tells that, map by college value should match with the name of instance variable for college, in student entity. Moving ahead. Let's create test class to create one to many mapping. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create a college instance having college name as, MIT. Moving ahead. Number 2, create two students instance. Student 1 having student name as, John Smith and, set college to student 1 with college instance created above. Student 2 having student name as, Black Harper and, set college to student 2 with college instance created above. This will tell Hibernate that John Smith and Black Harper study in MIT. Moving ahead. Number 3, add both students to the list of students present in college entity. This will tell Hibernate that college MIT has two students as John Smith and Black Harper. Moving ahead. Number 4, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist college 1, student 1 and student 2 instance. This will create a table college and student in database, and persist above college and student values into it. Friends, for rest of code working you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. Let's check database for table college and student and run a select query on it, 
as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for college table, having college ID and college name columns into it. The student entity has two rows for student 1 and student 2. It has a college ID as a foreign key, which demonstrate one to many mapping between college and student. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to implement one to many mapping by at the rate one to many annotation in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that one to many mapping concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.